When most people see a $2 bill, they think they have something that's worth a lot more money than just $2. And that can be the case if you have one of the bills that are in this video. Not many people even know that $2 bills are still being produced to this day. I typically carry around a few $2 bills in my wallet and I'll either give them out as tips or I'll pay with them at the store. And it's so interesting to see how people react when I hand them a $2 bill. This is the only video you'll ever need on $2 bills. So make sure you save this video and share it to anyone that needs it. But let's just hop into this video. So I'm going to keep this one brief, but essentially what we need to know is that this bill sold for $780 and this is why. So first of all, the grade of this note. So the highest achievable grade in grading is 70. That pretty much comes down to the centering of the bill along with the fact that this bill has no folds on it. So combine that with the fact that this bill has a radar serial number. This is what collectors call a fancy serial number, meaning that anytime you have a quote unquote cool serial number, some collectors will pay a lot of money for it. So if you have a high graded note and you have a cool serial number, you're in for a good time because this bill sold for $780. So this one's neat. So this is an almost solid number one serial number. You can see the last digit there is a number four. This bill sold for $2,160. I would say the serial number plays a decent factor, but the main reason is that this bill graded at the perfect grade of 70. Now without any previous grading experience, you may think that 70 is an easy grade to achieve. It's not. <laughs> it's not an easy grade grade, but if you hit it, it's pretty much going to almost guarantee that you get a good amount of money for your bill. Now to achieve the 70 grade, you pretty much need a bill that has zero folds whatsoever. And the centering is perfect. By centering, I just mean the margin. So if you look all around top, bottom, left and right, the margin of the bill, if the size is identical all around and it's perfectly centered, you're pretty much going to have a very nicely centered bill that's going to grade very highly as long as there's no folds or dents on the bill. So I'll keep this one pretty brief, but this bill so for $2,530, this is what collectors call a specimen note. Now, specimen notes were given to different banks around the world. So if they ever received U.S. federal currency, they would have a genuine example to make sure they weren't being given fake currency. So specimen notes really should not have ever gotten out into collectors' hands, but we know how things go sometimes. Someone probably slipped someone some money, and at the end of the day, a collector just got one of these in their collection. What you need to be very careful of is there are people out there that will pretty much get a red stamper and stamp on to their $2 bill to make it look just like this. Now there's a pretty surefire way to tell if you have a specimen note or not. And that is with, you know, obviously the red stamp, but also the serial number. For whatever reason, specimen notes have fancy serial numbers. I've seen them with all zeros. I've seen them with ascending ladder serial numbers like this, where it goes from two to nine ascending. There's all different types of fancy serial numbers on specimen notes. The serial number does not matter, but it's more more of a reassurance that it's a genuine specimen. But the only way that you're really going to tell if you have a real specimen note is getting it graded. If you have a specimen note and you want to sell it, nine times out of 10, you pretty much need to get it graded unless you're just going to sell it to a local coin shop. But more on that later. Not spending too much time here, but this one sold for $9,600, mainly because it's a solid number one serial number. You remember the bill from earlier? It was almost a solid number one. It had a four at the end there. It sounds pretty silly, but that one little difference allows a bill like this to sell for so much more money. Again, this one sold for $9,600. So if you have a bill with a fancy serial number, hold on to it. Make sure you don't sell it for too little amount of money. Don't worry, you're not seeing double. You're not dizzy. This is just a double printed error note. Now this bill sold for $19,200. Now I wanted to show this example because this is a bill I actually see people alter a lot of the time. And by alter, I just mean that they put it in their printer and they, they replicate this error essentially. So I'll keep this very brief, but during the printing process, the back of the bill is printed first, the front of the bill is printed second, and the last and third final print is the overprint, which in this case is doubled. So you can see the overprint is the district seal on the left, the treasury seal on the right, the serial numbers, and also the district number around the bill. So that's the third print. Now, because this is a pretty rare error, it's simply worth a lot of money. And you can see, which is pretty cool here, the serial number is actually different. You can see the last two digits are 4-4 four, four, and then below is 4-0. Pretty much any time the serial number stamper hits a banknote, it automatically shifts to a different number. So long story short, if you have a bill like this, make sure it's genuine. You know, don't go on eBay and try to buy one of these notes unless it's graded by PMG or PCGS. But if you come across one, you could be in for a treat because this bill sold for $19,200. Going to keep this very brief here, but this bill sold for $35,250. What you need to know here is that this is a serial number one bill. So 
So this is pretty much the pinnacle when it comes to fancy serial numbers. Everyone wants to get their hands on a serial number one. To put the icing on top of the cake here, this one graded at a 64 PPQ, meaning no folds at all. And lastly, this is a star note. So I'll keep it very brief, but star notes occur when a sheet of bills has an error on it. They'll destroy the sheet and produce a new sheet with stars. They need to do this for bookkeeping purposes to make sure that there's no theft going on in the BEP, Bureau of Engraving and Printing, where they produce these bills. But long story short, you have a high graded note, you have a serial number one, and you have a star note. You pretty much have a trifecta here, which allowed this bill to sell for $35,250. YouTube has a complex algorithm that knows exactly what video you should watch next. And that video is on the screen. So click on that video and I'll see you inside.